Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning channel. I'm digging into the sinking funds and the savings tracker and I do want to apologize up front. I thought I was recording <laughs> when I and I thought I recorded a whole video on setting this up and getting my numbers and guess what? I forgot to hit the record button and I just talked for a good 20 minutes with <laughs> knowing and completed these two things. Um, so I do apologize. So what I'm going to do instead, since I've already set them up, I'm not going to erase everything. I'm just going to review them with you and I hope you're not too disappointed, but we're just going to jump in and go over the same sinking funds and savings tracker. I'll explain what I did and why I did what I did and where my thoughts were on everything. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do budget videos, I do faith videos, and today is a budget video on sinking funds and savings tracker. And uh, I can explain a little bit as that goes along and how you can set up yours. These are my budget sheets. I create these and I put them in my Etsy store, uh, Lisa's Faith Budget Plan and on Etsy. And if you wanna check that out, uh, please do. I have a link in the description box below. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, I'm back. So these are my sinking funds. My sinking funds are set up for annual transactions. So these funds don't get used very often. As you can see, I only had one fund that I used this month and it was for $88. Um, it was Orkin, uh, came and sprayed, it come out quarterly. I live next to a water feature and our grass is always wet. <laughs> It's just, it retains a lot of moisture in this area. So um, yeah, so I have, um, or can come out and take care of spraying bugs and make sure we don't have any in our house and we haven't had any so we've been doing pretty good um other subscriptions that i have or other uh, annual expenses like amazon prime i pay that once a year so i save up all year for that um disney plus i save up for that every year it's cheaper to pay them once a year than it was for the um for me anyway um uh, for the um monthly subscription um apple subscription uh, same thing i just save up all year and it comes out once it's for my um, microsoft office suites and stuff on um, my mac and orkin termite we have a con termite contract and then we get spray i have a spray every uh every three or four months uh three months i think it's quarterly so yeah i just take the number of what it is um that um I need to spend and divide it by 12 and that's what I put in every month um, and so that way every year when the time comes around when the money's needed it's right here in the savings account now this is a separate savings account from my husband and mine joint savings and checking um, so it's not it's easy to access but it's not quickly accessed directly you know it doesn't cover anything so it it's just you have to physically transfer the money in order to make um, make the payment, um, which is good. It just keeps me from spending it when I don't need to and so on and so forth. So these are my beginning balances, um, from the end of January going into February. This is what I added to all those balances. And this is the one thing I took out. And then these are my new ending balances, which will be my new beginning balances for the month of March, which I'm very excited for. I have budget new budget sheets for that. If you have not seen my video, I do have a new releases video for March. Let me see if I can find my budget sheet over here um, to show you a glimpse of what that looks like. I'm really excited to get into March. I love the February heart flowers, but March I am super excited about because it's spring and the green colors and the, you know, the fun stuff. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited. So here's the savings tracker and the sinking fun. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I am so excited to get into this tracker. So there's that. So that'll be my March and you'll see these numbers in my March. Let's see what else do I have? Heating and AC. We have a contract every year. They come out and check in the spring and the fall. Make sure our unit's running well and well maintenance. And then we get priority if we have to make a service call. Um, City of Chesapeake, we pay property taxes for our vehicle every year. And I just take what I paid last year and um, whatever storm water we have to pay this year, um, divide it by 12. And then I just save a little bit every month. And there's that. Uh, my son's a senior next year. I cannot believe it. He's in the second semester finishing up his second semester of school this year, second half of the school year, and 
Oh, hopefully he gets to go full time next year. Hopefully we can do in person for everybody. Everybody's getting their vaccines. The teachers in our public school um, in Chesapeake have been getting their vaccines. And I think today's the last day that they can get just about everybody done. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, senior year, you want to buy cap and gown and class ring or uh, yearbooks and stuff. I want to make sure I have plenty of money at the beginning of the school year. So when those random things pop up, hey, mom, I need to buy my yearbook. Uh, and his yearbooks are like $80 because he's got a high school of 2,200 or more students. I'm like, oh my goodness. So there's that. Cell phone technology, uh, that's just a rolling one that I keep funding all the time. Um, technology always has to be updated. Uh, the older it gets, the less useful it is. And it's just a rat race that we have to run. And so I run it this way. <laughs> Uh, Christmas, we're putting $50 a month away. Vacation, we don't know if we're going to take a vacation, but if we ever do anything, I can pull money out of here and any other resources I want to use, and there you go. Uh, hot water heater, um, we want to next time, we just bought a hot water heater about a year ago um, through a home warranty, and it sucked. We just did not like the experience through the home warranty. It's actually one of the worst home warranties out there. So a hot water heater um, had to be replaced. It got replaced, but we're like, you know what, next time we'll just buy it ourselves and have somebody install it because I don't want to deal with that again. Dividends, um, it's a savings account and it gets dividends. So I just kind of put that there. And these are my totals. So that's what we had at the beginning. This is what we added. This is what we took out. And then that is what is left for our uh, end of the month uh, sinking funds in my savings account. And this is to the penny. It worked really well. And I just really enjoy using this because it's something I don't have to go to often, but when I need it, it is organized and set and I don't have to think too hard about it. I just go, Oh, I spent $88 on Oregon. I need to take it out of the sinking fund to cover for my budget. And there we go. That's what I have left before the next time I have to use my Oregon sinking fund. So that is that. So let's go over my savings tracker, which was a little crazy. <laughs> I really wish I had that taped or videoed. Um, you tell how old I am when I say tape. Oh my goodness. Nobody uses tape anymore. Um, so I have these little sticky notes and all kinds of stuff going on over here. Um, what I had done, I'm just going to kind of set this here and I'll walk you through that. So here, this number here is a combination of what I added throughout the month. My husband got overtime money, and I have another note here. So you got overtime money, so the overtime deposit of $630.99. That was um, during my paycheck to time period. Um, I, My husband had a Jeep savings that he was putting money into, and we paid... I don't have that number written down, I don't think. Uh, all of this went to his, I don't have that number. Uh, so for I have this down here. So all of this was part of two things. He had a Jeep lift done, a maintenance on the Jeep that he has. He has a 2000 Jeep Wrangler, 2010 Jeep Wrangler, and he wanted to lift it by two inches. Two and a half inches. So I was like, okay. So he saved the money to do it. Most of this money came from VA education deposits that he gets um, as a veteran. And so I was like, just put that money aside and build up your savings and have your Jeep lifted. So um, $2,761.29 of that was the Jeep lift. And I think about $100, $170 of it was um, on our visa on some subscriptions and transactions we had done and put on our visa that we were gonna pay off right away. So that combined um, is that number. Next, um, we had $20.96 left over in this Jeep savings. And, and really, this is one savings account. I didn't move any money around for this, but because I had it categorized like a sinking fund, I had to close that line item in my savings account tracker to make it zero. In order to do that, I had to take that $20.96 and add it to this deposit right here. Um, even though money didn't move, I just counted it towards that. So there's the 630.09, which is the overtime. So 
this the right one? No, this is not the right one. I wrote it so many times over here. There we go. Um, and then I added the $20.96. And then this overpayment. If you've seen my other videos, you see me make this deposit and carry it over. My husband's company overpaid him by this amount, $637.94. We haven't taken the money out of the check yet, paycheck yet. So he and I discussed this. We're not going to keep it as a line item. We're just going to throw it in the emergency fund. And um, if we need that money, um, we can just take it out of the emergency fund and and take care of business if we need to. If his paychecks can support that kind of loss and like he has overtime and they took the money out, we should be fine. So it's not that big a deal. We're just going to put it in the emergency fund. This is the fully funded emergency fund line. Um, the first one is a baby starter emergency fund. Um, so we added it in here. And then today I am transferring $1,091.46 from um, paycheck three into the savings account. And when you total all that up, you get this number. <laughs> so that's a combination of a lot of transactions um, on paper, not so much uh, moving actual money around. But um, yeah, so I moved all this, moved it up here. I added 75 cents here so that um, that would round up to 707. So we can have a good balance of numbers. I like even numbers. I like, you know, round numbers. So to make it easier to do the math. The one thing I didn't do in my last video <laughs> that I'm gonna do here right now, I'm gonna take this off of here, is um, total of these two positive and negative columns. So um, we began the month with $7,130.74, which is really high. And a good portion of that was the Jeep Savings Fund. We wanted to make sure that he had enough money there and to do that, and we did. But we also added money back. So $2,380 plus 75 cents plus 111, which is our dividends that went to our account. This added $2,381.86. Now we subtracted $2,783 to kind of close that and pay for the Jeep and pay for the visa. And we also subtracted out $637.49. So this kind of canceled part of that and you know evened itself out. Um, that goes like that. So really we spent $3,000 four hundred and twenty dollars and forty nine cents if I do the math across this way this should total what this says so let's see if that works um, seven thousand one hundred and thirty dollars seventy four cents plus to two thousand thirty eight one eighty six there we go minus the three thousand four hundred twenty forty nine $6,092.11, check and check. Elementary math worked again. <laughs> I like saying that. There we go. So, um, as you can see, we are all closed out for the month. We are doing good. This is what my actual savings account will say. These will be the ending numbers for February, but also the beginning numbers for um, March. When, that, um, when I fill out my March sheets next month. So yeah, this is pretty good. I am happy with where we're at because we had intentional savings that we were going to spend and finally spent. And then we had intentional savings that is meant for savings only. So that's what that is. Um, if you're wondering about the travel expense savings, my husband does travel and when he does travel, um, I take the money out of here and cover it in my checking account. This past month, I meant to take it out of here and I never did. <laughs> I just took it out of the budget and just forgot to transfer into my budget, which was fine. We had overtime money that compensated for it and it came out in the wash because I would have just moved it back in here again later anyway. So I decided, you know what? I made that mistake and not moving the money, but we had enough money to cover it. I'm not going to worry about it. So that's what we have there. I'm going to zoom you back out. 
Okay, now that I have you zoomed back out, sinking funds, savings tracker, and then I have this mason jar tracker, which I'm excited to do because, I didn't know that was under there, um, I'm going to figure up how much I'm going to color in this mason jar. My fully funded emergency fund or fully funded um, uh, expenses for six months equals uh, 36500 That's what we're comfortable with putting in the savings. So if we had to live off of it for a few months, that's what we want in there. Um, each level is $3,650. And as you saw in my savings tracker, go back real quick. Um, my six month expenses that we're looking at is $4,380. <laughs> so obviously we hit our 10% mark and that's what I'm gonna color in. I have these colored pencils. They're uh, erasable, twistable um, co Crayola color pencils. Um, they belong to my son when he was in school. <laughs> Well, he's in high school, but um, sometimes they have them highlight things or col use color pencils to mark things in um, some of their activities. And he's not using it right now, so I'm gonna quickly just shade this in because I know I have 10% in that savings account. And I am thrilled that this is here. <laughs> I have been waiting since June of 2019 or July of 2019 dreaming of starting this emergency fund and really building it up and really getting that number set down on what I want to make us feel comfortable and safe in our savings um, for our home for our family so that's that <laughs> I'm just thrilled that I could do that so thrilled I can do that so anyways, moving on, not only do I have this little tracker, but I am using something I, I have, I have something similar in my store, but it's for a house, uh, for not house, um, savings tracker like this, but it's, um, not this design. I bought this sticker from somebody, but I kind of created my own budget sheet that looks similar. It's a mason jar with lines and you get to fill it out the way you want. Um, but I wanted to use that sticker cause I'm kind of excited. So when I knew how much my savings was going to be i need the number um and the reason i wanted a whole number like i have now i'm not going to partially color the next one because um i only want to color it when i actually hit the net full 10 percent. and this is how i'm tracking every 10 percent. so four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars uh divided by 365 365 gives me 12. So that gives me 12 piggies. So what I did was I took the amount I wanted to save that total $36,500 divided it by a hundred little piggies I have here. And I've been coloring them to see if I like coloring in this chart. And I actually do it. And I, I never done this before. <laughs> this is not me, but I'm really enjoying trying these new things and these savings trackers and stuff. So, um, I have 10 of these piggies filled out with the new deposit I'm getting ready to do today, that's gonna to bump me up to 12 piggies. So I know I've got 10%, each line is 10%. So every time I get to the 10, I know I can color in my uh, mason jar. But these little piggies, I just thought they were adorable. <laughs> they crack me up when I look at them. So I'm gonna color this little guy, these two little guys over here. And um, so I can represent that I have this in my, uh, savings account in the bank ready and to go I just I think this is awesome so what are some important things that you think is important for an emergency fund what would you use it for how would you if you had to use it what would that be I like color in the coins this yellow color too. Um, for me, it would be like if my husband lost his job and we needed that income to take care of our family, to take care of our bills, to take care of that kind of emergency. Um, I would not spend it on, unless I didn't have any other means, but I wouldn't spend it on like we need to buy a new stove. Um, it works okay right now. Um, I'd rather save up to purchase a stove than to go in my emergency fund and deplete it, get it now, and then rebuild it. Um, because I have some time. There we go. 
kind of fill these in a little bit. So that's what I would think emergency fund would be. Um, it's different for everybody. Some people would be like, no, I need that new stove. I have the money, I'm going to do it. So um, yeah, what are your thoughts on emergency funds and trackers and all that good stuff and savings and everything? So uh, put those in the comments below and I'd love to chat to you about them. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.